been quite a tumultuous uh, turn of events. So many different things. He thought he did all the right things by applying for his medical exemption as per the rules by the government. And uh, once he gets there, it turns out he didn't put his visa together properly, which to me seems a little bit of a stretch, but obviously there are rules that you have to abide by. Look, there are players that are in there that have gotten their medical clearance that have not been vaccinated. So there are a few that are there. So clearly something's going on behind the scenes uh, with the visa, with what's going on. There has been a public outcry. Uh, this is a country, in particular a state, the state of Victoria, that has been locked up basically for over 250 days last year. So the public did not warm to the idea of Novak getting an exemption. And when you're on the pedestal as the number one player in the world, you are under a microscope, you're in a fishbowl, and it is very difficult to navigate. I totally understand the public's reaction. What's your reaction to all of that? I mean, I don't think I can say it any better than Paul did, but I mean, as a player and someone who has been to Australia and has gone through the visa process, it's not the, the simplest process, but I mean, it's just very difficult. I understand both sides, both as a player and you trying to find a way to just get there and play. You want to go and you want to play tennis. Novak Djokovic wants to defend his title. He wants to get to 21 Grand Slams. I'm sure that's what's on his mind. But also the citizens of Victoria who have been locked down for so long, they don't want to see somebody get around the rules. They've had to abide by the rules and be on such a straight and narrow for so long that when they're allowed to open up and get a chance to enjoy sports again and view all of these amazing athletes, you know, they want to make sure that they're protected, that they're safe, and that, you know, everyone is following what they've had to do. So I get both sides. You know, I have compassion for everybody involved. And like Paul said, I mean, it's very difficult. And these are just the times that we live in right now. I'm interested to see how this unfolds. But but sad for Novak Djokovic. I mean, I was looking forward to watching him play and hopefully defend his title.